I'm going to do. I'm making shrimp Creole, making it outside in my wonderful outdoor kitchen. All right, I'm going to start off with a third of a cup of cooking oil, and I'm going to use corn oil today, or rather vegetable oil. That's a vegetable oil. Got to get all them little drips. Got that working. Now that's going to start heating up, and it's going to heat up pretty fast because on this burner here, when it goes to burning, it goes to burning. All right. To this oil, I'm going to add a half a cup of flour. And you're going to say, oh, he's making a roux. Let me put this fire a little lower. a bad boy. Anyway, I'm making, uh, I just want to kind of brown my flour a little bit. And it's not going to take too much time. But these kind of pots here, boy, they get hot fast. Oh yeah, and it's going to start getting brown. But the secret is to stir it constantly. If you don't stir it constantly, you're going to burn that flour. And that's what it's light brown, that's all. That lower a little bit. All right, she's starting to turn brown on me now. Starting to smoke a little bit, and that's a good sign. Right now, I'm going to put some onions in there. Now, what I want to do, get my onions a little wilted. Just want them to get a little cooked a little bit. Oh yeah, you know, we're going to do this. Anyway, here we are right now making a French Creole. This is uh, this what the shrimp look like. I cleaned them up a while ago. That's what they look like. They'll be in that pot after a while. Alright, now I've got my onions are transparent. Again, the secret is make sure you stir them up. You got to stir them up. All right, now at this point, I'm going to put a can of tomato sauce. Oh, the Ooh, going look up. at that baby go. I need to lower that fire, lower that fire a little bit. This is usually an inside project, but it's a little rough out there. You can't see the fire. All right, got my tomato sauce in there. I'll stir it up real good. Boy, it's starting to thicken up already and it's just tomato sauce and onions. A little root. Well, not root, but flour and all. It's not a dark. It's not dark. And it's doing this thing. Now, what I'm going to do right now, see this little bottle of drinking water? This is so nice. I'm going to take half of this, eight ounces of water, and I'm going to pour that in there. And just stir it up real good. That gravy thickening up. Oh, and I see doing like a volcano in there. And that's what it's supposed to do. All right. Tomatoes. I got a large whole tomato that's been peeled and chopped up. And I'm putting that in there. Because I know that's the thing. The shrimp creole, when it's all cooked and everything. You're going to have yourself a, a wonderful meal here because you serve this over yeah. a bed of rice. Okay, I'm going to put my, i got a whole bell pepper, chopped up, a whole medium-sized bell pepper. I'm going to put that in there. Look at that rascal go. Stir it up. Oh, you can smell as soon as that bell pepper hit it. Now I'm going to put a little bit more water. Maybe two more ounces because I wanted to, to, to do his thing. I don't want it too thick. 
when you put your shrimp in there, fresh shrimp, you're gonna have your shrimp makes its own water too, you know. For those of you that didn't know. And she cooking. Now I'm gonna put some celery. I got a stalk of celery. Throw that rascal in there. And I got some green onions. I use a half a bunch of green onions, chopped. Put that in there. And this is my baby right here. Garlic. Four oh. large cloves of garlic. That's Chef Bouquet's oh, yeah. baby. Parsley. Alright, I use the parsley flakes because they're so much easier for me to handle and I can keep them. And I can carry them around with because I, I cook at different shows all over the place. And this is the thing right here. So, what I do, I've got about a tablespoon of parsley right here. Drop it in. Let it go. Ah, oh, yeah. And just stir it up. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit more water. See, by the time I'm done, I'm going to have a, almost 16 ounces of water in there. But I like to add it as I go, because it thickens up as I put them. Ingredients in there, them condiments. Oh, this and is delicious. Let me tell you what. Wait until you put the shrimp. In. When I put the shrimp in, there, it starts turning a little red. That's that's the key. Now, red pepper. I want to add some red pepper. You know, I'm gonna give it a couple dashes because I like my, my my little pepper there. And I'll put me a little black pepper. Just a little bit. Kind of give it a little. Ooh. I've got the master ingredient I'm going to put in there in a minute. Now this ingredient I'm going to put in there, you don't want to leave for more than 10 minutes. Bay leaf. And I'm only going to put one big one. I don't want it to totally overpower that fire. And you say, what about salt? I'll give it a little touch. Now I just kind of sprinkle a little bit, not a lot, because after as it cooks, I want to taste it. I like to, I, you know, I like to taste. So I'm gonna be able to tell if I need more or not. Now I'm gonna let this cook. For about 30 minutes. Then I'm going to come back and put my shrimp in there because I only want my shrimp to cook about 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, baby. All right, here we go. It's been cooking about 30 minutes right now. First thing I want to do, I want to take that bay leaf out because it done gave it all the flavor it's going to give it. All right. I want to put my shrimp in there. Look at them shrimp. Now that's Ooh. peeled shrimp right off the boat. I mean, I realize most of y'all don't have a shrimp boat around and you've got to use the other kind, the kind that's frozen. Just make sure you put raw shrimp in there. You know, you got to be some good raw shrimp. All right. I'm going to let this rascal cook for 15 more minutes. I love my watch. At 5.15, I'm going to take that rascal out of there. See y'all after a while. All right, hey. now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a teaspoon of sugar in there. And you say, well, why you put sugar in there? Well, that's for acidity. That'll take the acidity out of that tomatoes. And it'll help you increase your flavor too. Well that thing is just bubbling up a storm. You go boy. You go. Ay ya 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 man. I need another bit. Right, here, here I go. I, I just need to taste this. I can't stand this no more. I just can't stand it no more. Son of a god good. Ay ya 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 ya. I tell you what. 
man, I just don't know. This is just too good. Too good, too good. Mm. It's it done. I down. just cut the fire off. Here's what I got. Got a bed of rice. Plate of rice. Look at that. Look at the shrimp in there and the veggies. Shrimp Creole. I tell you what, the pepper, you put as much pepper as you want. I like it a little pepper, a little salt, uh, uh, a little spicy. This is what we got right here. And listen, I've already tasted it, and it's wonderful. See y'all later. See y'all later. Ay, ya, ya, ya. Next time. <laughs>